So this is a demonstration of one of the applications of the Pixie add-on for the Raspberry Pi. In this example we're using the Pixie and the Raspberry Pi to provide a replacement keypad for a Mead LX200 telescope. The original keypad unfortunately suffered a, a malfunction um, and the, the, dis the display stopped working. So what we've done, we've taken the Pixie add-on and we've used the FPGA to implement a matrix keypad interface. We've used the RST32 level converter on the uh, Pixie to provide a serial interface to the uh, original handbox port on the telescope and we've also used the FPJ on the Pixie to provide a couple of rotary encoders. Uh, the rotary encoders replace or add to the menu up down keys on the keypad so instead of having to press the menu keys to go up and down through the menus you can now use the rotary encoders. So I'm now going to switch, switch this on I'm going to switch the telescope on. The Raspberry Pi and the Pixie are already powered up. They're waiting for a command from the telescope. So. And those of you who are familiar with the telescope will recognise the messages that come up here. That's now going to boot. Okay, so that's now uh, started up. So we're just going to go through the startup. I'm going to press the mode key. It now goes through and takes a GPS fix. Okay, so this is now set up and ready to go. Just like on the original uh, controller, we can use the north, south, east and west keys to uh, manually position the telescope. We can use the menu keys to go through the menu. But in here we've rigged up the uh, rotary encoder so it provides exactly the same function as the, uh, as the menu keys. So we can use the rotary encoders to go through the menu. Um, just for example, we're going to go and find an object. Let's go and find a star. We're going to find a name star. And then you can just use a rotary encoder to scroll through the list of stars in the name database. Apart from that, it's pretty much like the original keypad. Um, we've got four extra function keys which allow us to do um, shutdown and startup. Uh, the key which would normally turn the light on doesn't because we don't have a, a light in this one. But otherwise, it, uh, it does exactly the same as the original. And so that's it. Thank you for watching.